Hey buddy, how are you? Fine. For $30, would you dare to throw away this plate of food? Would you really give it to me? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Hello, kiddo. How are you? Well, look, for $30, would you throw away this plate of food? No. Why not? Because I'm very hungry. You're really hungry? Yeah. You haven't eaten? No. Look here, let me give you the little plate of food then. Good afternoon. What do you need? Easy, sir. Look. What's going on is that I'm doing a social experiment. Experiment? Yes, sir. Look. Don't get mad, please. Look, the social experiment consists in... to throw away a plate of food in exchange for thirty dollars. No, thank you. No, no, we don't take nothing from strangers. Sir, take the plate of food. Please, I mean... I said no. I don't have anything to pay you with. No, look. I'm not charging you for it, as I told you. It's a social experiment. Your girl chose the food instead of the thirty dollars, and, well, I don't want to be... nosy, but she tells me that she hasn't eaten. Well, that's true. She hasn't eaten. I'm going to accept it. Please, sir. Please look. I know you don't know me, but... I am very impressed with your daughter's decision. And that speaks very well of you. You are teaching her very good values. Very good education. I congratulate you. Thank you. This is how I educated her, so that she will be... a good woman when she is older. I am convinced that this will be the case. I don't want to sound bold, but... I would like to talk to you a little bit, if you allow me to do so. But I only have to tell... tragedies. Don't worry, sir. Look, it may be that... I am not here by chance, because I notice you are a little anxious. I see you a little worried sometimes. It is good to talk to someone. I have many problems. Well, as I said, if I can help you in any way, I am here to listen to you. Really? Of course. Thank you. Come in, please. Thank you very much, sir. I thank you for giving me... for giving me the opportunity. And as I was saying, this is really a social experiment to which I dedicate myself. Well, thank you very much. We are having a very hard time. I was robbed a few days ago. They took wood and tools. And all that's left is this, which I have to deliver. To top it all off. A person who had given me an advance payment for some furniture she wanted is very angry because they took everything. She says that if I don't deliver, she is going to sue me. I think about her. I don't want to go to jail. Of course not. What will happen to my daughter? I'm very sorry to hear that, sir, and how much do you lost? Everything. Almost everything. They left me nothing. They don't know the damage they did to me. To us. And we only have two days left to... Until our rent is over. And then we going to... To where? We are going to... My daughter and I are going to stay in the street. And right now, where are you living? Do you live here? In your business? In a little piece that they leave us there. But... We are going to be on the street and... I don't know what is going to happen to us, to her, without not having to eat. I don't understand why. I don't want to sound nosy. I am very sorry to hear your story and you have no idea how much it hurts me. But I want to ask you a question with all due respect. Yes, tell me. And your wife? Her mother, where she is? My wife passed away more than seven years ago, and that hurts me a lot, and I am in a lot of pain, and it accumulates more with what I am going through. Because I don't know what will become of us, what will happen to my daughter. Calm down, sir. Please, calm down. Look. I know that sometimes it's good to talk to someone, get our feelings out, and talk about it. Well, here I am, brother. Here I am here to listen to you, and... Well, you are not alone. Let you know that you are not alone. 
as I was telling you well, I am really dedicated to this. Due to social experiment, and she wasn't the first girl that... ...do the challenge, but everyone accepted the money. Thank you very much. God bless you. And how your wife died? She was sick with something, or...? An accident. They ran over. They ran what over a barbarity. And... It has been difficult to be a father and a mother at the same time, but... But for her sake, I want to keep working hard, but... I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to be sent to prison because she will be left alone. What will happen to my daughter? Calm down or you will... Scare your little girl. Look, as I said, you are not alone. God knows why things happen. There are no coincidences. That's why I am here talking to you. But... How can you help me? Well, look, as I told you a while ago, this is what I do, fortunately. I am doing a little bit well. I have some bussiness and the work of all of us, of all our team, is to look for good-hearted people, as I told you, as well as you. And it hurts me a lot to hear your story and how you are handling the educational situation of your daughter. Is she studying now? Or at the moment, or... No, no. There is no money for school. I had to take her out. And you bring her up and down with you? In your work? She never leaves my side. She is always with me, but... There are times when I just... When she only eats a soda and a loaf of bread. And how do you do it, friend? You don't eat? I don't... I don't eat anything because I want her to eat. And I'm going to tell you something. There are times when she falls asleep and... I go to the crossroads and I ask for alms. No, but you don't feel bad, my friend. Look, you are in a very difficult situation. And I understand it because sometimes we are in situations that we believe there is no way out, that there is no alternative, but I can assure you that God will not forsake you. God hears you. I know, and I have a feeling that today God is going to send you a great reward because you are a very good man. Thank you very much, God hear you. Do you believe that your wife, no matter where she is, is still watching over you? Yes, I do. She is still with us. And tell me, do you have any family here or someone who can... I mean, no one can support you on taking care of your child? I have brothers and sisters, but they forgot about us. I have no family. My parents have passed away. There is no family and it has been very hard, but... God hear you, my friend. God heard you. Look then, first of all, I would like to invite you to eat. It's bad for you to work if you haven't eaten anything. Because you haven't eaten either and the girl hasn't eaten either, so don't worry about it. Please accept my proposition, I know what I say. But you already give us. You don't worry and calm down because I'm going to give you two surprises. A surprise? Because I'm telling you, the social experiment, it comes with rewards. But what is it about? How am I going to pay you? No, you don't worry. You Don't worry. I just need you to trust me and to come with me, please. Don't worry. Look. Where? I want to give you two surprises, and I can't tell you what they are because they are surprises, but I assure you that you can trust but, me. But it's nothing bad, right? Look, you are going to start to see right now that people are getting close to us. Those are people from the production that are coming with us. You take it easy, and right now we are going to move, and I am going to give you two surprises. Please come with me. But where? Easy. I have two surprises for you. I know that they will help you emotionally, as well as economic stability. I won't have anything to pay with. You don't know. Don't worry about that. Really, it's no problem. I just ask you to trust me. All right. I am going to trust you. Well, let's go. I'm just... I'm going to clean a little bit. I'm going to close. Okay, let me help you with that. Thanks. Don't worry, just make sure you close the door properly so that it doesn't happen again.
Let's go. Thank you very much for trusting me. We are already here where I am going to give you your surprise. But I don't understand. Look, I want you to please take the plate of food. Thank you. Right now you just took it, but you didn't check it. Please, I want you to open it. A house? House. What comes to your mind, brother, when you see that? Well, a house. Is this a joke or what? No, it's not a joke. Look, please, I want you to take these keys. Keys? Yes, sir. But... But it's your house, isn't it? You no, brought sir. me here. Please look, that house behind you. That's for you and your little girl. It's a joke, isn't it? No joke, please. I want you to come in. It's no joke. Are you serious? Of course I am. can't be. It's true? Of course it is, dude. Are you fine, sir? Friend, are you okay? Friend? God bless you, my God. Take it easy. It's a joke, right? No, it's not a joke. Are you all right? Are you all right? Friend. But why us? Easy, buddy. You're going to scare your daughter. Easy. Miracles do exist. Calm down. God bless you, God. You have nothing to thank. But why? I told you. For your good heart, brother. For your good heart and for taking care of your daughter the way you are going. This is a miracle. God bless you. God bless you. Look, please come with me. Easy, come with me, please. Calm down. I can't believe it. It's real, my friend. Please come in. It's completely real. Just take it easy. Calm down, then. beautiful. Come in, my friend. God bless you. I can't believe it. Well, brother, look. From now on, you won't have to worry about where to live. Yes? And look, right now, I made a couple of calls. Calls? Yes, because I have another surprise for you. I told you I had another surprise for you. Look, I am going to show you something that we have here in production. Please. Here is a list. Take it, it's all paid for. It's a very big toolkit that will bring you this address so you can continue working, brother. All your tools that were stolen, we will buy them new. For me? Of course. Thank you. It's a miracle you give me a house and tools. So you can keep going, brother. God bless you. Nothing to thanks for, really. You don't thank have to you. thank me. No, 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 no. Don't worry. I'm telling you. Miracles do exist. Of course they do. We must also support your daughter in her studies. That is very important. Now that we are done here, I want us to agree to put her in school, please. Do you agree? Without a doubt. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Nothing to thank.